used a little more cowbell. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last video we took on LSU pretty much had a perfect game especially offensively our wide receiver Chris Humphreys had the performance of a lifetime six touchdowns two on the ground two in the air and two on special teams and I don't know if I could ever pull that off again but LSU was struggling and we took advantage of it and let's keep this thing going we're 25th in the country and we got three straight home games, so hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of a couple of these and maybe have a visitor or two via prospects. Today we're taking on Vanderbilt, the one and three. Both teams about the same amount of talent. They got a pretty good run defense. And their rush offense is not too bad either, but they're, they've lost two in a row. They're one and three, and we are clicking on all cylinders. Before we go into that, let's go to recruiting. We should have a prospect or two that may visit today. Let's just start at the very top. We're back up to number one for this guard. Excited about possibly getting him. Free safety, David King. Would love to get this guy. Just get in the top three and we'll be okay. It looks like it's just going to be us and LSU. Same with this guard. Then we got... Uh, Ryan Jenkins, the halfback, looks like we slightly went up ahead to the number one spot ahead of LSU for him. And it looks like we got an outside linebacker ready to take a visit. We'll have him visit today. Let's see. He doesn't care about red shirting, so it is playing time. Then we have location. Then we have coach prestige. Then we have style of football. So the only thing that's left is academics and program prestige and it's down to florida state tennessee and us so i don't think academics is the key my guess is probably program prestige uh i don't know what else it could be there's only six pitches and the other two like i said are academics and program prestige so we'll go with program prestige this probably will go against us <laughs> because our program prestige is only like two stars but that's what we're going to go with Wide receiver, we're in good shape for this kid. And we got one more. What's funny is this tackle right here, we we took the points off of him because of that negative pitch. And we are still kind of like in the thick of things, which is kind of weird. When he visits, he may actually put us in our top three. He may visit. And I mean, he could come and visit, but I'm not going to put any points on him. We got bigger fish to fry. Same with this kid right here. We took the points off of him. Yeah, we still might get in the top three for him. I don't have any points on him whatsoever, which is interesting. But the last guy we're going after is C.J. Vince at the defense tackle. Looks like we're in good shape here. It's us of Florida State. He's down to the top five. All right. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 fo polls. As you can see earlier, we are 25th in the country, which is pretty cool. Heisman watch, I'd like to think Chris Humphreys may be on here eventually. Maybe Bradley, but I don't think he'll have enough touchdowns. We don't. He doesn't throw enough touchdowns. And, but if you combine both, rushing and throwing, he may get on here. But as you can tell, we don't have anybody on here yet. We'll see what happens, though, in the future. Players of the week, now I'm Keon. I, I keep calling him Chris, Chris Humphreys. His Keon Humphreys. Keon Humphreys, of course, National Player of the Week. Just absolutely crushed it. Big time game for him. Conference standings, we've only played one game. We're far too early in this. But as you can see, Auburn and Arkansas are off to a good start in our division. It's like Georgia and Florida is at a good start. Tennessee's going down. Of course, one of them was the Florida. I forgot what the other game was. Probably against a ranked team. But either way, way too early to be paying too much attention to that. We just got to take one game at a time, and we'll start today with Vanderbilt. We got one visitor today. Make sure you stay to the end of the video to see what he does with his commitment there. And I'm guessing the Kentucky game, I'm really hoping the rest of those guys we're going after will be ready to visit by the Kentucky game. Kentucky's like 0-5. That would be the one we want those guys to visit. All right, Michael Henning is in trouble. This is actually a good thing since he's a backup. You always want backups to get in trouble if you got your bar up at any point. 
as you can see here, we do. Let's see, we have a rule around here. If you don't make the grades, you don't play. Henning is not making the grades at this point. This is a perfect time to bring this down quite a bit. I would love to go four, but it only gives me like 14 points to play with. Let's just do three. We'll do three. That way I got 20 points left in case I got to use them on somebody else. But that brings the insulate team interest bar pretty low, which is what we want. The farther that goes down, the less points we have to put into that next season. All right, so like I said, 25th in the country. Looks like they got a three-headed monster. QB, halfback, wide receiver. I didn't scout Vanderbilt. I'm, I'm quite positive they run a 4-3. And they're a balanced team. Just kind of depends on where their talent lies. It's like Brad Nessler's Rock of the Purple Soup tonight. The Maroon, I guess he's... That's slightly, it's more purple than maroon. All right, we got a pretty night for some football. We're going to enjoy great weather in tonight's game as the skies are clear. Yeah, and perfect the weather. is just right for the Vanderbilt Commodores and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. In the midst of this wonderful college football season, I could put on a good show today, to take care of business. Of a championship game. And here come the Bulldogs. Impress. Brian Rivera, the outside linebacker, visiting today. The Bulldogs are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Mississippi State comes Eric Bradley, game, having a good season so far. Throwing the ball, he's done fine. It's running the ball is what we need him to do, and he's done a good job of it. He'll be ready to play. Nice pick, Kirk. picking the pick. All right, they're picking us. Let's go to the coin toss. We won the toss. We're going to kick. We want to defer to the second half. Let's check out their roster. Now, our back, our quarterback situation, if Bradley goes down, hopefully he won't. We'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, let's just go to the Vanderbilt roster. Starting quarterback, 85 speed. That's going to be interesting, so we won't be able to blitz him too hard today. He'll just run away from it. Halfback, pretty good, 82. Really good fullback. Impact receiver, so that kind of tells me they'll probably throw a little bit more than usual today, if I had to guess. Good little receiver. Well, at least they got two guys that are pretty good. 86 overall, the tight end, not bad. 84, 70, 84, 84, 76. Like I said, they run a 4-3, so 80 and 72 at the ends. 82-74 are the tackles. Nothing spectacular there. 65-82 and 76. Decent middle linebacker, but that's kind of it. Corner. Really good corner. He is, he's got 99 speed and he's 6'1". That's like my ideal corner. With that speed, that's pretty ridiculous. But his other teammates, not bad either. Let's see... Impact free safety, but he's only a 78, which is interesting. 80 speed. That's really slow for a free safety. And they got a really bad strong safety. He's a true freshman. Impact kicker. You don't see that too often. And they got a terrible punter. He's also a true freshman. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. The teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Not the best kick. This is going to go towards the sideline. Bennett takes it at the four. A little juke. Get a stop there. Let's see. We'll go quarters like a. They'll set up shot at the twenty-two yard line. I guess we're going to do a lot of quarters today. Maybe some spy stuff. Ingram. Good defense there. Was able to get a hand on it. I think he got hit. Uh, let's do a one high. I could say maybe running it here just to make up some yards. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Commodore. Go with the I formation. Ah, first down. Guy came through. That was my fault, I guess. I, I could have done something there. We'll go back to quarters. First and ten. Ball on their own 
So that's two passes now that I can see maybe running in here. There he goes. Somebody stop him. Another first down. Moving the ball pretty easily out of the gates. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. I've got the strong side. Yeah, easy first down. Each play's been very easy for him so far. We'll go to a one high. Now watch him go play action here off of that. The D-line shifts over. Full back dive. Well, finally got a positive stop. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to try. Let's just go back to quarters. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 36. We are going to do that. I'm going to put my defensive end on a spy. They're going to throw. Looking. Throws it to the outside. Interception, big play right there. Was able to get in front of him. I was surprised that they called pass interference. I kind of felt the receiver rub into me. I just kind of sat there. Oh, he got hit as soon as he threw it, too. That was the only guy I had to cover on that side. So that worked out pretty well. All right, let's go. I, I would like to do play action. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a PE rate. Always like to do play action off a turnover. We're going man nickel. I love the shift. I'll probably just hand this up. Get a big gain there with Johnson. Let's start off with. Let's do QB choice from Bunch. We're going one zone 4 3. I like the. Uh, we'll just probably hand it off. Good blocking here. Get about five yards. Seven yards. Let's stay here. And let's do the wide receiver sweep option. We're going zone 4 3, and they shifted hard that direction. Bradley doesn't like what he sees. I don't like that. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. That's just good defense. They came blitzing, and I had to see they got blitz right there. If he would have blew it up if I went to the outside more. But let's just stay here, and let's do speed option, try to pick up the first. We're going zone 4-3. We're shifting that way, but actually... The Bulldogs. Let's just go here. Good block there. Somebody had a really good block. I don't know who it was. It was 89, guard high. Just knocked that dude out. And I stepped out of bounds. That's just fine. At least he didn't get hit. Okay. Let's go with... Let's do triple. We're going with zone 4-3. I'll probably, we're going to try this. Get a little first down here. Good play there. They shifted the linebackers to the left side, so I just felt like we had the numbers on the right side. So I just handed it off to him. Great block by my right tackle. Then it was just a juke, and it's off to the races after that. So we're on the 10. I want to go back. And uh, let's go here. Let's just do QB choice. We're going man nickel. I like what I see so far. We'll probably just hand this off to Thornton. Ooh, that was close. We'll pick up six points, though. That's a good start. I thought I was going to get tackled in the backfield there, but somebody was able to pick up a block right at the beginning. We'll kick an extra point. All right, let's get back on defense.
try to figure out their offense. They was moving the ball pretty well until they threw the interception. Not the strongest kick, and we're not going to see that until we get a better kicker. Ooh, get a stop there. I thought I saw a hole. Ah, uh, let's just do quarters. I'm afraid to blitz this dude. Half back direct. Let's make get a stop. First down. Uh, let's do his own blitz. Let's try and see what happens. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Ingram with three wide receivers. Ah, dang it. Very QB draw off the zone blitz. That's perfect play calling right there. Looks like they're going goal line. So we'll just do the same here. Go with a bigger set. Fumble, somebody get it. Ah. Uh. The big fella puts the ball on the turf, but it's recovered by the offense. We'll go back to quarters. I've got the strong side. Got the slot receiver over here, too. Good stop there. Got a few yards. I'm going to do another zone blitz. Second and seven. Ball on the 43. The Commodore come out showing three wide. And that's what we didn't want to see. Another QB draw again. Every time I've called it, they would QB draw. Let's go back to quarters, I guess. Again, they're moving the ball really well. We just need to bait them into a pick or force a fumble or something. Good defense right there, all around. Let's go with the zone blitz here. This kid can run with anybody, and he can lay a lick on the ball carry if they want to come in his direction. Let's go with the inside here. Vanderbilt lines up in a shotgun set. Great defense by our corner. So now it is third and 13. We'll go cloud. I'm going to put my defensive end on a spy, my right defensive end, because that's how they like to they like to run in that direction. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Now, they'll probably go for this. They got a really good kicker, though. Yeah, they may just go for the field goal. I'd rather them go for the field goal. Their kicker's good enough to make it. He's an impact guy, so he should have no issues with this one. Pump up the crowd. What a little we at. He gets it up. He got it. Right down. Yeah. He had another 30 yards. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Better than a touchdown. All right, let's get back on offense. Vanderbilt to kick. Nicholas and number nine back to return. I'd like to stretch the lead. See if Keon Humphreys can do something here. Mm, just don't fumble it. Not a whole lot there. Let's start. Let's do power option. We're going man 4-3. Shifting that way. I'm okay with that. Let's get some extra room. Get the first. Brings him down. And that one goes for a big, big on the 16. Let's uh, let's do an RPR. We're going zone. Now we're going to throw towards that free safety if all goes according to plan. So let's see what happens here. Good throw. Great play right here. You've seen me run this play a few times already this season. The throw is spot on, so good job by Bradley making a play there. Safety, or the corner came down. Just a good play. 
quarter with our score, Mississippi State seven. Vanderbilt let's go three. with. Let's go here. Let's do halfback off tackle. It's first We're going man nickel. On the -yard line. I should get decent blocking here. Nope. <laughs> Came right on through. It's a hit and miss with that play. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But came right on through, so we'll try to make up for that. We're going to go speed option. They're going man dime. Six DBs in the lineup. Get a block there by the tight end. Pick up the first down with Thornton. So what yard are we on? We're like on the 16. Let's go with. You're right about that, coach. Excellent job by the running back in that little option. Let's do triple. From slot, we're going nickel. I like seeing that. When performance matters the most. They're spreading out that way. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Let's move him over. He might have a chance. I don't think I got the first. Second and inches on the five. Let's go back to power option and try to knock this thing in. We're going with zone. Let's hurry up to the line and see what happens. Mississippi State. Ooh, that's a weird pitch. We'll take it. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but hold up. We got to do this first. All right, they went zone, but that guy blitz, the linebacker blitz right there. No, the corner blitz, that's what threw me off. And he, cornerback done a perfect job on this. He cut to the inside, and a pitch right here. That's just a miracle pitch is all that is. We'll take it, though. And the halfback took it in for the score. That young man has proven to be a valuable member of this squad. All right, let's get back on defense. We'll get an extra point first. Pretty quick drive. Had the big play by Keon. To keep it going. Bennett, their wide receiver, going to make a play out of this. It's a good stop there. Every time I go zone blitz, they do something weird. They always do a QB draw or something. Somehow he gets eight yards out of that. Let's just go quarters. Every, they run the ball every time I go zone blitz. I'm going to quit it. Baker alone in the backfield. Ah, they're going speed. Ah, crap. Got out of the way. Fumble! Somebody get it! I made the... It, it was me, but it wasn't me. It was the computer who kind of made the force the fumble. I just ran into the guy. But an impact player can do that for you. Just knocked his head off. Not really, but it was a good hit. So we're on the left hash. Let's go with another RPR. Or RPO. Play action. They're going man 4 3. I'll probably throw this. Yeah, we'll probably throw this. Oh, intercepting. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible throw. That's good defense on their part. All right, we'll try to make that up. Let's go to speed option. They're going man 4 3. And they're doing that. The Bulldogs. Set up I the have. I, what about, I got an audible, don't I? Not formation subs. Go to audibles. It's X. Okay. Cat 82. Let's do that. Let's go to guard high. Oh, this is going to be intercepted. Ooh. Could be worse, I guess. I will just stick with that play since it's third and long. We're going zone. Hopefully, he can make this throw. I'm going to 
Make this a little bit. We're going to separate those safeties a little bit. Let's bet if we can. Oh, good throw. He had to come back for it a little bit, but it was still good. Okay. Kept the drive going. Let's go QB choice. We're going zone nickel. Let's see how they shift. Oh. Bradley is back in the That's good blocking, right there. Get a good block, Humphreys. You can see how fast Lowe is. He just felt so fluid on that run. That's the type of running back I need, somebody who could just get to the edge, get you an extra 10 yards. So that's on the 10. Let's just do a triple again from split. We're going zone 4-3. When performance matters the most. Their last trip down here was a we'll just probably keep this. Eh, well, yeah, let's play it safe and just let him so he calls run that in. Uh, let's do option give. This is like triple without the triple. We're going zone. This may be a bad idea. Nope, they're not being a touchdown. Good deal. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Good run in here. We had good blocking. That helped. Nobody came through in that hole right there to hit me, so. All right, let's kick an extra point. Oops, yeah. I may have got it in. <laughs> it threw me off. The guy went off sides, and I, it spooked me. We'll decline it. Yeah, we made the kick, so we'll decline it. That was weird. <laughs> My button rhythm, it messed me up when I saw that guy go off sides. He kicks it. Young, fields at the nine. So the offense comes out after their... All right, let's get back on defense. I'm not going to blitz no more. It's not helping us. Quarters is doing fine, so we'll stick with that. Pick up eight yards. Let's go quarters from here. I'm going to put my defensive end on the spy. That's a defensive coverage audible or a defensive audible. I'll cover that later on in the video. Or an opposed or something. Somebody get a stop. It was too easy of a run. I should have known. They only needed one yard, a couple yards to get the first. Let's go back to quarters. From 4 3. Oh my gosh. Dude's quick. I couldn't run into him for him to make the play. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's go to one high. Now watch him go play action off of this. This quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads up play there by the QB. QB draw. Easy first down. How many QB draws have they called today? They're moving the ball well. Then they just goof up and have a turnover. The Commodore. Line up in the power. Going power eye. Touchdown. What do you... That was too easy of a drive. I'll be. All right, we got a minute 40. I'd like to do something with that. I may run clock, try to get a touchdown before half. Five plays, 78 yards. That was just too easy. Nobody tackled. What little spy I have been using is not working. At least not for the defensive end position. Number nine fields it in the end zone. Nothing there. Minute 37. Let's go. Let's run for a little bit first before we need to feel like we need to throw. We're going man nickel. 
he's doing that, so we're definitely going to run to our right. Bradley lines up in the shotgun. Here's the option left. Good block there. Let's just get out of bounds. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. Uh, let's go with wide receiver under. Second they're going three. man, and they're blitzing both inside guys. So that means I would love to go to Nicholas over the top. Bradley has four receivers. But they're doing that. Ah, threw that way too late. Oh, he still caught it. So we'll take it. That was my bad. I threw that way too late. I saw a cover one instead of a cover zero. All right, they're going zone. I kind of need to pick up the pace a little bit. Not the best throw. Thankfully, he caught it. That's a minute 15. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. Let's go back to this RPR. They're going zone. But this offense is keeping them guessing. Got plenty of time. Three wide outs to the right side. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He's going left. Oh, big play. Six points. Good deal. That play's been golden for us. So I, I scored too quickly. Wasn't expecting to score that quickly, but threw it right over his head. They went cover two, so if it was cover three or cover four, I would have threw it to him sooner. So now they got 57 seconds. That's more than enough time for them to get back down the field and try to score. So, so far, offensively this season, it's going very well. Not bad for a bunch of B-minus talent on offense. And this may go out of bounds. At least Bennett's not going to take it. So now we're just going to do quarters and keep everything in front of us if we can. First and ten. Stop there. They decide to run it. Well, that's fine by me. I'm still going to do course. I don't trust them. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 28. It's quite possible they may have given up on this drive and they just want to go to halftime. If so, if we can survive this next play, we can go back to a cover one. Because this may be their last play they'll call. Now they'll call a timeout. And here we go. Got to get a stop here. Ball on the 38. They come out of the nickel. Ingram to the air on first down. Looking. Make a play, somebody. No. Too easy. Just a one-on-one -on -one situation, quarters coverage. I'm gonna do an all or nothing here. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirteen. Clock is stopped. Line. They must be expecting something up the middle here. Ingram on first down. Good stop there. Don't have to call a timeout. Nope, they may just wait. Okay, kick a field goal. You can have it. Better than nothing, but they got enough skill players so they can score on you, that's for sure. Thankfully, we're doing a pretty good job keeping them out of the end zone. The kick is up, and it's good. This drive summary is brought to you. All right, that could be worse. Looks like they're ready for the kick. We got two seconds. Won't try to do anything too crazy here. We'll let Nicholas run it out. Uh, he made, ooh, I, I was just, mm. <laughs> that was close. Okay, end of the first half, we're up 15. I'm okay with that. Let's go to stats and scores. Big thing is, is the turnovers. That's the reason why we're up 
Otherwise, offensively, I mean, they're putting up their yards, 236 yards. They're running the ball more than they're throwing. I just now realized that. But a lot of that, I think, with the quarterback running around, of course, that's QB draw. Those are design runs. He's not doing a lot of scrambling. So maybe we need to do a lot more one high. I mean, look, I, they're running the ball a whole lot. And it just occurred to me, I have looked at Vanderbilt's scouting report, and they do run quite a bit. So that makes sense. Uh, okay. That's what I needed to know. Uh, let's look at individual stats. Bradley's playing pretty well. Five of seven. I'm more than happy with that. Running the ball, Johnson, Thornton, Lowe, Bradley. Everybody's putting up their share. Johnson with a couple touchdowns and Thornton with one. All right. Let's get the ball back. Let's try to stretch the lead. Kicks it off. That may go out of bounds. What's like? That's a perfect kick. I'll be. And now a slight break in the action as the offense uh, comes middle of the field. The field for their next possession. But I'm gonna do speed option. They'll, They're they'll going zone four three. Let's go to the right. High snap. Dang it. That's just what do you do? High snap. Second and 13. Uh, we'll go back to our pass play that's been working pretty well. That's going man here. Going too high. Got some of that back. Third and three. Uh, we'll do speed option. They're going man dime. That right nickel's blitzing. There's no high snap. Good deal. Good little play there by Bradley. Now let's run the ball with... Yeah, he's gassed. So, let's go here. Let's go with a double running back option. We're going man. I think they're going dime. Is I think this guy may be blitzing. I didn't pay attention. Nope, he's doing that. Okay. Let's go here. We'll just take it with Johnson. Might as well. Just a simple good one play. there. Quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive. Go here. This offense when they're Let's try a halfback off tackle from normal this it's time. They're going ten. zone. All on the 36 yard line. I like the shift. They'll work now let's see if we can get a good block or two. Nope. No good blocking. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. Just it is what it is. Uh Bradley's still a bit gassed. So, uh, let's try. Let's do QB choice. It's second down and nine We're going go. zone 4-3. Who's that? That's guard high. Let's move guard high over. Good block by guard high. Big play, six points. Take it to the house. Great block by guard high. If I hadn't have pulled him over. Oh, he didn't even have to do the block. Yeah, he, he blocked him. He distracted him enough. Anyway, that's the reason why I do that, just to get an extra guy over there to block. Or do something, anything. Just get in the way if needed. Okay, good deal. Let's get back on defense. Trying to do something. Let's go here. And that's a terrible kick. That's going out of bounds. And at least they can't return it. That was my bad. Didn't time it well. Let's do a let's blitz a little bit harder than normal. Let's go back to fire two. They'll get the ball here at the 35 yard line. Every time I zone blitz, they run. I just need to 
they're determined to run today, so let's just go one high on them for a while and see what happens. The Commodore line up in an I formation. There we go. All right, so that's what third and six. I guess they're going to throw. We'll get him on a spy. The Commodore line up with three wide. Let's control Fitzhugh. Ingram, off the fake. Down the ah, man, I was right there. Still got the first. Let's do another one high. First and, ten. Ball on the 46. and they're doing that. I wasn't expecting to get them to do that, but that's okay. Vanderbilt. Hopefully this doesn't hurt us and the offsides. All right, zero wide receivers, so they should be going to their power eye. Sit. Good defense. Just put your hand up. It's not where I mean, unless you know you can get an interception, just try to swat it down. All right, we'll try quarters and second of five, but I can easily see him running it. Mississippi State brings in their nickel package. I'm gonna stay in. I don't trust them. Right tackle can't hear it. And they're doing that. And I cut the wrong angle. Dang it. He almost got the first. Now they'll probably go back to their power eye. We're gonna go four four. So another third down upcoming for the offense. High formation here. I'm going to double team their receiver over here. Oh, they're going to run it. Bad mistake. Bad mistake. That's perfect play call. They're still going to, I'm still going to just put one high on them. They're destined to run it. That's what they want to do, so. Man, I didn't need to do that. Let's go back. Go back down. Good stuff. Just a great play there by the linebacker. Yeah, he showed his speed as he knifed him. All right, it says zero wide receiver, so I'm guessing this is their pair eye formation. This is the eighth play of this drive, and this defensive end is looking to get into that backfield. All right, third and long. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. This time, I'm going to control the defensive end, and I'm going to go after the guy. And there he goes. He can scoop. Look at this. Oh, still almost got the first. Now, they may go for it here. Nope, they're going for a field goal. You can have it. If it was fourth quarter, they would go for it. But I think it's programmed. To uh, to not do that unless it's fourth quarter. Because we're down 19 points, they're still down three scores. Okay, let's get back on offense and get another touchdown. He hits a booming kick. Nicholas fields it in the end zone. He didn't got away. Just don't fumble it. Okay. Bradley should be well rested. Let's go back to triple. They're going man 4-3. We will probably keep this. That's good defense. Very fortunate to get four yards out of that. Let's stay here. Let's do speed. We're going zone 4-3. Shifting that way. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. Bradley options out. Now he pitches it. Oh, almost got it. Didn't get it, but almost got it. Uh, let's do speed from normal. Try to get the first. We're going zone 4 3. Let's let the clock. I'm going to let the clock go. Out on that. Let's 
I don't like the look. I could have probably went to the left, but let's just wait. And that's the end of the third All right, fourth quarter. quarter. Let's take care of Bendis and end this thing. I'd rather go on 4-3 man. Third and one. Ball in the 25. And they're doing that. I'm okay with that. I'm guessing that other safety's going to come down, and he is. Good block there. And he's gone. He ain't catching him. He may get caught right here. Oh, he still gets in. Big play. Well, this is Dana or Johnson's game for sure. This is breakout game. This is third touchdown. Can't catch him there. Kudos to the safety almost getting to me right there. Right here. It was close. He, he took a perfect angle to do it. To push me in. Get an extra point. And let's get back on defense so we can force another field goal. How many have they hit? Three? When you got an impact kicker, I guess you use him. That's a really good kick. I wasn't expecting that. do quarters, but I'm here to tell you, I think they're just destined to run the ball today. It's just, they have their mind set on it. I love that play, how the trip's over. Let's just stick with quarters. Ingram lines up in the shotgun. I can see him running in here, so I'm going to stay in. They only need two yards. Yep. Halfback draw. Dang it, went the wrong way. Easy first down. Halfback draw always works for the computer, never for me. I never was able to understand it. Whatever. I guess it has to be up against quarters for it to work. I don't know. Let's see if they look the wide outs way. He is in the zone. I'm gonna bring him over. I'm gonna go. Oh, nope, he's going this way. Fumble, big. Oh, he still picks it up. You gotta be kidding. I've done that on purpose just so I can force a fumble. And he still gets it. Like I said, they still wanna run it, so we're gonna continue to go one high. Take care of the football. They are very, very fortunate to get that one back. They sure are. That one had turnover written all over it. Bennett's in the slots. You got to be kidding. I knew it was going to him, and he still catches it. He was double teamed. Still catches it. And I called the wrong play. Dang it. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Power eye set. Triple. Fumble ball. He forced another fumble, but he still didn't get it. Let's go back to one high. That's about as ugly as an option can look. Well, it certainly wasn't pretty, that's for sure. But like Brad said, they recovered the football. It's part of the pass now. Good weak side tackle. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And we're gonna go with a four-four. I think they want to. They, they may want to throw it, but they're just. They've decided to run the ball today. Fourth down. They'll probably go for it. I'm gonna go four-four again. They shift on their defensive front. Back to pass. He's looking. He's rolling right. That's perfect play. I can't guard both. I decided to double team the impact guy. Man beaters, all that is, just a corner route. It's too easy. Let's go back to one high. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Looking, comes across the middle. He dropped it, thankfully. Oh my. He did a poor job of concentrating on the football that time. 
We will go with another strong zone blitz just to throw something at him, anything. Nothing's really working on this drive. The D-line shifts over. And he still catches it. I tag, I hit the quarterback and the guy still makes the catch. Incredible. I think it's destined for them to score a touchdown here. I mean, everything's going right for him. Told you. Told you. It was just meant to be for them to score a touchdown there. Didn't matter what I done, they was just gonna make their plays. Oh well. Thankfully we got a lead. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Alright, I may try to run some clock here. And still score, of course. Gonna go onside kick. I like their kicker number 75. Here's the onside kick. Let's just get out of bounds. Well, that'll end all hopes of a miracle. You can say that again. This one is pretty much done. Let's try. Let's try this triple QB option. I've ran it a couple times. We're going zone here. I may just keep this with the quarterback and try to go up the gut. It's meant for the quarterback to keep and go up the middle. But there's a guy sitting there waiting on me. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. QB sweep. Uh, Bradley, I don't think he's good enough for that play yet. Let's do power option. They're going man 4 3. Shifting that way. Mississippi State comes out in the shotgun. I still may go this way. I'm going to do this. See what happens. Yeah, I'm okay with that. As long as we're tight end, can handle that defensive end. Nope. Didn't do a good job on that one, but we're going to get the first anyways. Oh, I stepped out. Oh, you got to be kidding. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Crazy. Oh, let's do QB choice from Ace. They're going zone nickel. I would have scored a touchdown. I'll be. And I stepped out as well. And I pressed the wrong button. I think it's going go... I was supposed to hand it off and I didn't. That was my bad. We still got five yards. We're going to hand it off this time. Bradley's about gassed. Uh, while we're at it, let's just play this smart. Put in McKnight. We're going to put low. Kind of freeze with King. Take our big three out. Hopefully nobody gets hurt on this play. Ooh, not a big fan of that shift. Lines up in the shotgun. I'm still going to hand it off to him. Bradley's too gassed. So we'll let Lowe handle it. Bradley, yeah, not a bad all. Didn't, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Samuel, all right, kept down. it in bounds. All right, we'll probably just take a knee from here on out. No question, and they were not ready for that option. They have guys running everywhere except for the ball. And you're right. They look like they've never Good win. Make sure you stay to the end of the video. We'll see if we get a commitment from Brian Rivera, the outside linebacker. He may get playing time next year because we're going to be low on some guys at that position next season. Kudos to Vanderbilt for at least trying to make it interesting. If they didn't have a couple of their turnovers, who knows what this game would have looked like. We'll take one more knee and end this thing. So where that makes us 5-0, and I just, I don't know. I was hoping, I, not like I was hoping for a struggle, but at least a little something. I'll, I'll get it towards the end of the season. I always struggle towards the end. I think the game somewhat forces some of your CPU defenses or your opposing teams to get a little bit better towards the end of the season if you're doing well. I've noticed that. It just, I think that's just the way the game's designed, but oh well. All right, good win. Let's check out some stats. Three, uh, 479 yards of offense. Running the ball, 344 yards. You couldn't ask for a better run game. 
than that. Big thing was the turnover battle. They had four fumbles. Very fortunate they only lost one of them. That's one thing we've done really well. We haven't fumbled the ball on the ground, you know, with our running attack any of this year. I'm surprised. Bradley, he done his part, had a 35 yards passing. It didn't have to run a ton. Mostly it was Johnson, they 190 yards, three touchdowns. He should have had a fourth and accidentally stepped out of bounds. That was my bad. Otherwise, the run game looked pretty solid. Receiving, again, Humphreys, is, it's just kind of set up the way to where he makes all the catches. I swear, I'd love to go to the other two guys if they bring cover zero, but we're just not seeing it yet. Uh, blocking, Wilson had nine pancakes. That's ridiculous. So, we're going to have some offensive linemen on some award lists in the future. That's for sure. When you get that many pancakes in one game, you know, we had 11 before, and I don't know if it was Calvin Wilson or not. But anyway, that's ridiculous. That's a lot. Uh, little John had the, he was the MVP of the day in terms of defense. One interception, eight tackles. Eight, seven, six, four, three, three. Yeah. All right. Good win. All right, let's simulate the rest of the week. See if we get a commitment. That'd be nice. That way we could put our points on other players. And get ready for Auburn. Auburn, this is going to be our next big test. They're having a good season from what I saw earlier. Home game, I'm not going to schedule anybody for that one. I'd rather do it for the Kentucky game. Just, you always want to win the game where you have prospects coming in to visit. It just makes such a big difference in getting commitments from those guys. So you might as well just have those guys visit to a game where you know you have a good chance of winning. LSU is 1-4. and four. They're still, <laughs> I mean, gosh, I mean, they might not win another game this year. Like I said, we got Auburn coming up. Uh, one thing I did mention, I don't know if you noticed me talking about it during the game, but I was doing a couple different defensive audible things. I'm going to work on a, either a video or a blog post about that. Uh, you'd be amazed by all the little stuff that's in this game that I didn't even know about. And I forgot we got a bye week. All right, the four-star kid out of Gulfport, Mississippi commits. Good deal. Now, we got a bye, so I don't want to start the next week off a bye. So we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. So let's go to in-season recruiting. TSA about to cover. Looks like that was Arian Foster. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like Jackson is ready for official visit. We will do the Kentucky game. It's going to be a while. It'll be another three more weeks, but I'd rather it be that one. All right, looks like the free safety is ready to visit. The halfback's ready to visit. Pitt's not yet. And the defensive tag. We're going to have everybody and their brother visit the Kentucky game. So we got 16 points to divvy out. Let's go one, two, three. Let's do 20. Let's just do 20 across the board. And we should still be in good shape. Yeah, I think we're good pitch wise with everybody. Defensive tackle. Okay. By the way, we could quick look at Sports Illustrated, see if we need to do anything here or anything we need to see. I'm sure we moved up the polls. How's been watched? Look, there's Keon Humphreys. He got up in there. He's already got 1,000 yards all purpose. 10 total touchdowns already. Half the season's over. Actually, just a little over a third. So he's got a long way to go. He may get 20-plus touchdowns this year. Hopefully, he can stay healthy for that. That's pretty cool to see. Now, the rest of it, it's not a big deal. Okay, we'll simulate the bye, and then I'll let you go. Uh, or I'll let you go now. There's really nothing else to see. So come on back. We will uh, take on Auburn. They're ranked, I'm pretty sure, so that should be a pretty good game. So we'll see what happens there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.